I'm Melvin J, Cats of Level 4, here from beautiful Big White Canada. Questions about up on waiting and down on waiting. This walking analogy can help us to understand where we might want to apply up on waiting or down on waiting in our snowboarding. Up and down and waiting are two different terms that we use to describe our vertical or up and down position at the edge change. We can think of up and waiting as being our tallest or most extended position at our edge change. Well, this doesn't mean all the way tall in the range we're using is going to be at its tallest or most extended at the edge change. And we can think about down and waiting as being the most flexed we're going to be during our turns happening at the edge change. Whichever terms we use, up and down and waiting, extended or flexed at the edge change, cross over or cross under, these are all describe our positions that just help us change our edges. And if this does or doesn't unweight the board, is a discussion for another time. What's important today is just to help to understand the differences between up and down and waiting. So Walking with coffee idea can help us to understand up and waiting and down and waiting and one of the advantages about being efficient or being smooth. So grab a coffee, let's walk and talk. As I don't worry so much, well, I'm spilling the coffee. I can walk in a normal gait. My mass rises up every time I transfer from one foot to the other. Sounds a lot like turning. Every time I make a turn, my mass rises up, my center of mass moves into the next turn. Easy, it's efficient, carrying speed and energy from turn to turn. But as you can see, while I'm feeling pretty good, it's definitely going to spill my coffee. However, if that coffee was still full, I might want to drop my center of mass a little bit to balance that coffee. Think about this as like down and weighted walking. From there, to move myself forward, I can extend my leg from my ankles, my knees, and my hips, my center of mass, just that little bit lower. Down on waiting to keep my mass really stable. Nothing spills and I'm really steady. I can absorb the terrain, whatever I'm walking on. Sounds a lot like snowboarding. So let's take a closer look now that we have that understanding. Let's take a look at up on waiting. And now let's take a look at down on waiting. So this walking analogy can help us to understand where we might want to apply up and waiting or down and waiting in our snowboarding. When we want to maximize efficiency and power, carrying energy from turn to turn, we might want to just use up and waiting. If we need to be reactive, be stable and smooth above all else, then down on waiting. It's a lot more effort and less efficient, but used as needed to keep my head, my center, and my coffee really even. From beautiful big white, I'm Melon Day, and I hope this helps your snowboarding. <laughs>